Hey, what's up everybody? It's Sam here from samnuka.com and I'm thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about my next 90 days business focus. Now, here's the thing. If you want to divide your year into four different quarters, right? Quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, it brings you 90 different days of business focus. Now, for me personally, I like to do a 90 day sprint, if you will, a 90 day year, right? Which is a course that I once did and it just made perfect sense to me. And after those 90 days, I take 10 to 20 days off to kind of, and by off, I mean I reduce the amount of work that I do, probably cut it in half and have a holiday somewhere or spend some time kind of just reflecting on what's been going on, what's working, what's not working, what I should adjust moving forward. So every sort of 90 days, my new plan is to release one of these videos so you guys can track my progress as I go along, as I continue to grow in this online marketing world. So I wanted to focus on three things in particular when it comes to this video moving forward. And because I'm gonna be releasing these every, every three to three and a half months, right? So what I'm going to be reducing, uh, which this time is gonna be Facebook marketing, what am I adding, which uh, at this point in time is gonna be Instagram marketing, and what am I actually going to be increasing, which is gonna be YouTube marketing and blogging. So those are the three categories that I'm gonna break down in each and every video that I release, which is basically every quarter, to really give you guys an idea of what exactly it is that I'm doing, what I'm focusing on, and kind of touch on different points so that you can find what it is that works for you. Now, before I get into my 90 days business focus, what I wanna tell you is this, for everyone, it is different. Some people get onto Facebook marketing, they absolutely love it. They get onto Instagram marketing, they absolutely love it. They get into YouTube marketing, they absolutely love it. They get into blogging, they absolutely love it. The point is this, there is success across any channel, provided you have the right training, provided you have the right mentoring, provided you have the right coaching, accountability, and you actually take the action that's required for you to be successful at that particular thing, okay? I've seen people kill it on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, blogging, right? Across any, every, I mean, podcasts even, if you will. I don't talk about podcasts much, obviously, because I don't do podcasting, but what my point is this, is that there are so many different channels that you can choose to focus on that works best with what skill set you have, right? The key is to get the right training, the right mentorship and to actually take action based on what it is that you want to do on and focus on with your business. So point number one, what am I reducing? I'm going to be reducing Facebook marketing first and foremost. Why? Me personally, I don't really like the social aspect of it. Yes, I like posting stuff and engaging with people, but I do believe my time is much better spent elsewhere. Again, does that mean Facebook marketing doesn't work? Hell no, Facebook marketing really does work. You know, the free side of stuff, the paid side of stuff, it all works if you can find formulas and methods that work best with you. For me personally, I don't really like sitting on Facebook, chatting with complete strangers, you know, adding people just so I can get more likes and more views on my videos. You know, business can come from it. You get subscribers from it, don't get me wrong. It works, right? Whether you're posting motivational quotes, motivational, uh, inspirational pictures, creating like uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook live videos, right? I mean, I've even got Facebook live training. That's how long I did it for, right? And the results are great. It's great to be able to engage with people, which is what social media is all about. But for me personally, Facebook marketing isn't really my thing. I've dived into it, I've gone into it, I know exactly what it's about. I can teach you if that's what you wanna do, that's cool. No problem at all. But for me personally, that is what I'm going to be reducing this quarter. Now you're still gonna see, you know, motivational quotes go up. You're still gonna see inspirational pictures go up. You know, uh, I'm, even, I'm, I'm gonna uh, actually uh, be posting my YouTube videos as well, but we'll be talking about that uh, at the end of this video too, as what it is I'm gonna be um, increasing. So. But for now, in terms of like really focusing on Facebook, it's not going to be my focus moving forward, all right? So point number two, what am I going to be adding? I'm going to be adding Instagram marketing to the mix. Now, I'm not gonna be doing it as much as I should be doing it, you know, or, or I, at least I know I should be doing it. And what I mean by that is I should really be posting four to five times per day. But quite frankly, I like to have a life and I don't like to be tied down to my computer, which is why I got out of currency trading back in the day, right? Because you have to be tied to your computer at a certain, at a specific time every single day to be able to do stuff. Yes, you can outsource the work, but then you have to trust that that person is actually going to sit down and do the work and do the work properly at that specific time. You're relying on them having internet connection and so on and so forth. There is just a lot of work that requires you being at a certain place in a certain time, which I can't commit to at this point in my life. 
So what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna focus on posting twice a day on Instagram. I'm gonna grow my channel slowly. I still believe that I can, you know, probably get somewhere between 20 and maybe 50,000 followers. I don't really know. It kind of depends how well my, um, my account goes, you know, with, with what it is that I'm posting, but I'm not gonna be able to do that, you know, the 100K followers in, in 90 days that I know can actually be done. Yes, I have the knowledge, but I don't have the time, nor do I really want to sit down at very specific times, five times a day in order to build something like that, okay? So I'm gonna be adding Instagram marketing, but I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do it as hardcore as I originally thought that I might be doing, okay? But I will be, I will be building that channel for sure. So what am I increasing? I'm going to be increasing two things, YouTubing, YouTube marketing and vlogging, okay? So these two things have been the staple of my diet for years, you know, especially YouTube marketing. I've, I've got customers that still pay me to this day from videos that I've created five, six years ago, okay? That to me is the true power of marketing. Now, I'm sorry, of video marketing. Now, you're probably thinking, well, why would you stop Facebook then if, you, if you're so committed, uh, if you're so convinced that uh, video marketing is, you know, basically the way to go. Here's why. And this is just going back to my train of thought and the way that I like to build my business. Number one, I can't commit to a set time every single day to sit down and do a live video. Now, there's a reason why TV shows have a set time every single day that you sit down and you watch. For example, the six o'clock news. I hate the news. Don't, I'm going to encourage you, don't watch it. But my point is this, they have the six o'clock news every single day at that particular time, same channel, right? It creates a consistency that people become, um, and they become somewhat addicted to it, right? They become reliant on it. It becomes part of their life and what it is that they actually do. It becomes part of their routine and their ritual, right? So for me, I can't sit down at 6 p.m. every single day and do a, a Facebook live video, right? I have a lot of things going on. I am a single father. I like playing basketball, right? I'm building this business while I'm working my job. So there is a lot going on in my life. I can't sit down every single day and build uh, and, and do Facebook live videos at any set time because at any set time anything could come up. You know, I might I might need to run into school to to uh, to catch up with my kid with with uh, with what's going on with him. I might be meeting my friends to play a pickup game, right? I, I'm I might I might need to sit down and blog. I might need to get to the gym because it's the only chance I get. So instead of instead of doing that because I found my my inconsistency with times did actually you know vary my results. So instead of doing that, I'm going to focus. Again Again on my YouTube channel, right? Which is all about video marketing. That's where my power truly lies in YouTube marketing. So I'm gonna create these videos on a day-to-day -day basis and I'm gonna upload them essentially from Monday to Friday onto my YouTube channel and then I will save it onto Facebook, right? So people still get access to my YouTube marketing. Um, the other reason is search, right? With, with Facebook, once you do a live video, it's great that people watch it and that they, they like it and give, give emoticons and all that sort of stuff. That's really cool, you know? Good on them, or good, good on me, whatever, whatever the case you want to be, uh, whatever you want to call it. So, but here's the thing, people can't search on Facebook, you know, to find what it is that you're looking for. People aren't going to Facebook to go, how do I build a business in 90 days, right? Whereas a lot of people go to YouTube to look how to build a business in 90 days, right? And so if I can create 20 videos based around that, there is a good chance that I'll get onto the first page of YouTube, which is gonna allow me to grow my business, right? As opposed to doing 20, 20 videos, I mean, they, they show up on, on somebody's Facebook feed for a day, maybe two, three if I'm lucky, right? And they might like it, they might watch it. Not to mention their friends and family, so they're not necessarily, they're not all necessarily into that thing. Whereas people who search for it on YouTube and find your video, it's exactly what they're looking for. There's a lot more power in search than there is in randomly finding through social media, okay? So, the other thing I'm gonna be increasing is blogging. Now, I blog twice a week and I have done so um, probably for the last maybe year. I've, I've, I think I've had one week where I blogged three times and then I think I had one week where I only blogged once. But overall, basically twice a week. My goal is to increase it to three times a week um, and I might even increase it even more depending how good I get at this particular process. So my, my focus is gonna be, in, is, is not just increasing the amount of blogging that I'm doing, but I'm gonna be focusing a lot more on the quality of my writing and my ability to get this content to rank, okay? Because ultimately it, it doesn't matter if you create 200 blog posts, right? But no one's coming and watching your stuff, what's the point? 
right? So you may as well focus on getting 50 out there that are actually gonna rank on YouTube, on YouTube uh, in terms of videos and rank on Google in terms of content, okay? So that's why I'm gonna be focusing a lot more on blogging. So YouTube and blogging is gonna be a big part of my next 90 days of business. Really gonna be pushing that button to see how far I can actually take it. Um, so everything I study is gonna be, uh, is gonna be focused around Instagram, YouTube and blogging, but YouTube and blogging primarily, right? With a bit of study of Instagram while I grow that channel as well. So everything you see on my channel over the next 90 days is most likely, you know, it's gonna be 80%, uh, probably even 90%, honestly, Instagram, YouTube, and blogging. So if that's the kind of stuff that you wanna learn about, if that's the kind of stuff that you feel you need to build your business around, then follow this channel. You know, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like the video if it made any sense. If you have any questions whatsoever, Go ahead and comment below, reach out to me and let's connect. If you're needing some training on, on anything to do with social media, please check out the description below this video. I do actually have a very specific training for the, for the different types of channels that are available for you to help build your online business. All right, so thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. The next 90 days of business focus is going to be awesome. And I'm gonna grow these channels in ways that I've never ever done before. And I'm gonna have you following along, which makes it even better. All right, so thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Take care, much love, and I'll see you all again in the next one.